you again for dropping by one of my videos. Today's video is going to be a fitness video of how to get abs. So I'm going to show you exercises that you can do that will give you ab definition. Of course, if you're not eating properly, if you're not having the correct nutrition and food and diet, then obviously it's not going to work. So you have to work in conjunction with both. Everyone has got abs underneath, so it just all it depends on is if you've got a lot of excess body weight around your torso. Your first aim is to try and get that excess body fat off because you can do as many sit-ups as you like, as many abs exercises as you like, but unless you get that fat off, you won't get a six pack, you won't get abs that you want until that has gone. Now we all wish that we could get rid of fat from one part of our body. Yes, mine is the stomach. I always get fat on the stomach and probably the ass, but I always want to keep the fat on my ass, but you can't target one area of your body. So unfortunately, you do have to work the whole of your body um, to get this fat off. Let's get started in showing you these abs exercises. The first one I'm going to show you is ab crunches. So to do these correctly, you need to lie flat on your back, knees bent, heels of your feet just a few inches away from your buttocks. Bring your hands to your temples with your palms out, although in my videos, I've realised that that's not the comfortable position for me so you're supposed to put them there but mine always end up going there so in my videos it will look like I'm pulling on my neck but I'm actually not I just find it comfortable to rest them there so just find any position that you feel comfortable with as long as you're comfortable with it then it's completely fine so while exhaling you lift your shoulders off the ground fairly quickly while you feel pressure in your abdominal muscles hold for a second and then make your way back down to the ground Repeat this 10 times, do 10 reps, and try and do three sets of every exercise. It is difficult to start with, but if, if you do two sets to start with, and then see how you feel, then do another set. So ab crunches, it does your top abs. So you've got top abs, middle abs, and lower abs, and this will work mainly on your top abs. Next exercise is leg raises, and I love this, because I really love working my lower abs, because this is the most difficult part of your abs to get definition so it is really hard work to do these leg raises collect to do the leg raises collect collectly what's wrong with me to do them correctly lay flat on the floor with your arms by your side if it's more comfortable for you you can put your hands under your buttocks i suggest that you do like um like a spade shape and put that underneath your buttocks so you're sitting in the gap it just adds more support for you. Then slowly raise your legs up to the ceiling, keeping them as straight as possible, and point them to the ceiling, or as near as you can get to the ceiling, and point your toes towards the ceiling as well. And then gently release back to the floor. Do not put your feet back on the floor. You need to hover over the ground. And then repeat the exercise, take your legs back up to the ceiling, hold for a second, and then straight back down to the ground. Do 10 reps of three sets of these as well. This will work your lower abs. Third exercise is bicycle crunches. Now, I like these ones. These are slow bicycle crunches. I know the typical bicycle crunches where you just do it really fast, but I don't really feel that. So when I do these slow bicycle crunches, it's awesome, but I'm really good at these now. So I have to do a lot of them to hurt my abs. Lie on the floor, make sure that your lower back is pushed into the ground. Put your hands behind your head or neck, in my case. Set your knees at a 90 degree angle, so like this so it's simultaneously pull your left knee towards your chest extend your right leg outwards and whilst your left knee is coming to your chest put your right elbow to your left knee and do that simultaneously so you continue these in slow motion this is really really good for your obliques and your rectus abdominals it's just really good exercise for your abs if you want a six pack number four are pulse ups now these are really difficult i find these difficult so to do these correctly, you need to lie on the floor, again, put your hands by your side, or again, if you need some extra support, just put your bum in there. Raise your legs vertically upwards so that they're perpendicular to the floor. You need to raise your upper body by contracting your core and pulsing up towards the ceiling so that your legs are just constantly pushing up and, and you do that from your core. Feel the squeeze in your abs and just push up. You need to exhale as you push your legs up and inhale as you go back down. It's a key thing to breathe correctly whilst 
training any part of your body and there's a few exercises of what I'm going to show you that really test you with your breathing because you just hold your breath and it's not the way you just go dizzy and faint so once again do 10 reps and try and do three sets do one of each exercise first and then do the whole set again and try and do it again if you want those abs you'll do it number five is mountain climbers so you start in the push-up position on your hands and feet so flexing the knee and your hip bring your right knee forward towards your chest pull your abs in tight and then quickly switch your legs so that your opposite leg is towards your chest and the other one is extended behind you. So continue to switch your knees simultaneously so that you're in like a running position so your legs are going like this. So this is a good cardio exercise as well because it really does get you sweating. To ensure that you keep your body in the same position, don't let your, your back go up or down. Keep your body straight and don't put your neck down because you'll hurt your neck. So whilst you're in that position, it is now the plank, number six. So go on all fours, lower your forearms to the floor and extend your legs outwards. You need to maintain your body position, That's a, it's a straight line from your head to your feet. Don't push your back up or down, you need to be completely flat. Tighten your abs, hold it for as long as you can. If you've got a timer, do it for 30 seconds and then just have a breathe and just stop. If you're really good, do it for a minute. Number seven is the V sit up or the boat sit up. I call it the V sit up. So you need to put your body in the shape of a V, like this. Now I don't know whether it's because I've got really good balance that this is really easy exercise for me. Sit on the ground with your legs bent in front of you. Slowly lift your feet off the ground so that your bum is the only part of your body on the ground. Gently lean back so that your body creates this V shape. So these are your legs and that's your back. So you need to lean back simultaneously and engage your core. Make sure that your abs are really, really tight. So your legs are, are extended out whilst you lean backwards. The next step is to bring your knees back to your chest whilst bringing your torso up as well. So it meets with your knees. Do this simultaneously, not too fast, so that you can feel the tension in your abdominal muscles. If your back does start to hurt, then I suggest that you just stop because no pain should be in your back. Um, this is probably an advanced technique to you. So if you can't do this, then don't worry. But just try your best and do 10 reps of three sets. Number eight is a Russian twist. So you're basically just in the same position as you was for the V sit up. So sit on your bum again. And hover your feet off the ground. Your hands need to go in, in a clasp in front of you or like this. I, I hold it like this when I'm not using weights. So you need to twist your torso with your hands to the right hand side. Hold it for a second, tighten your abdominal muscles, make sure that you feel pressure there, bring it back to the centre. And then repeat on the left hand side, hold it for a second, squeeze your abdominal muscles and then return to the position that you began with. If this is too much of a challenge for you to begin with, then you can easily just put your feet on the ground and still do the Russian twist motion, but with your feet on the ground rather than hovering off the ground. So you can start off with them on the ground and then as you gradually get more confident and your balance increases, then you can take your feet off and away you go. Number nine is flutter kicks. These are really, really good at targeting the lower abs. They're a really hard exercise if you do a lot of them. You need to lie on your back, arms by your side, straight, or undo your bum if that's easier for you. Lift your legs off the ground and push your lower back into the ground. Do not let it arch up. You need to keep it flat on the, on the floor. Keep your legs as straight as possible and rhythmically raise one leg higher than the other and then change over. And you just do this very quickly whilst tightening your muscles and engaging your core. And you can really, really feel it on the lower abs. Once you engage your core, glutes will also be activated because you'll be tensing your glutes as well. So it's kind of good for the glutes as well. Do 10 reps of three sets. Number 10 is scissor kick. I actually don't know if the real name is scissor kicks, but I just call them scissor kicks. So lie on the floor again in the same position as the flutter kicks. Um, I do these one straight after another without any breaks. All of this I do without no breaks, so you need to do this without no breaks. Uh, it will kill you. So lie on the floor exactly as the same position as the flutter kicks. Arms by your sides, legs out in front of you. Raise your legs up. Instead of your legs rhythmically going up and down, you need to go outwards and inwards so open your legs out hold and then back in 
and you do that continuously. Engage your core, tense up again. You can really feel this on your lower abs. Repeat the movement, 10 reps of three sets, or if you prefer to just do 30 seconds of each exercise, then that's completely up to you. It's your workout. Number 11 is the side plank dip. This is a really good exercise again for your oblique muscles on the side. So lie sideways on the floor, extend your legs out, put your elbow on the ground, directly underneath your shoulder and grasp the floor. Put your feet on top of each other and lift your torso up neutral. So keep your legs straight where they are on the floor, but lift your torso up. Hold it for a second and then dip it back down. And then as you lift it back up, you need to lift it higher than your starting position. And this will really, really work your abs. Uh, do 10 each side. So once you do 10 on that side, turn over. So you can work the opposite oblique muscle and then do 10 again. And do three sets of those so you'll end up doing loads of them. Now with all these abs exercises that I've showed you today, I want you to do 10 of each one without a rest. So your rest is after the whole set of these 11 exercises that I've showed you. So do 10 of each one um, and with the plank 30 seconds to start with um, and then have a rest a few minutes at the end of the set and then redo the whole thing. And if you're really good, you can do another set, do three sets, try and do three sets because it really does work your abs and it will get you the definition that you want. The more that you progress, you will want to add weight to these abs exercises. So I don't do these like this anymore. Um, I always use a dumbbell or a kettlebell. So at the moment I'm using, I've gone up to, I was using five kilogram dumbbell, but now I've gone up to eight kilogram dumbbell. So I just hold it in front of me whilst doing all the ab exercises, not all of them. I do it with the ab crunches, the Russian twists, the flutter kicks and the scissor kicks and the v-sit up as well i do it with those so it's a really good way of progression it will increase the definition and the intensity of your workout so once you are happy with doing them just by your body weight because that's all you need to start with is just your body weight and knowing how to do them which hopefully i've showed you today but then when you are confident enough then get a dumbbell get a kettlebell or you don't even need to buy one just find something heavy in your house that you can use and to just make your workout more intense so that it will end up making your abs more def defined i will be doing a future video of ab exercises some of them will be the same but of how to use the weights correctly whilst in there everyone should aim to get a weight training because that's how you build muscle and get ab definition and booty definition and everything you can't do it without weight you can tone up but that's about it so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already also don't forget to click on the bell so that you're notified when i upload my videos so go and get them abs to work right now go and i'll see you very soon bye